Hey, buckaroos and buckarettes. It's good to be back with you. And today I'd like to talk to you about couples and moments. Now, this is something you already know about, most likely, but you may not have thought about it in these terms. It's something you'll hear about in statics class if you haven't already. So let's start by saying, well, what's a couple? Not that kind of couple. A couple is just two parallel forces that are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So here's what it looks like in concept. If I have a shaft here, something that can turn, and I've got two sort of arms coming off it, I could apply a force in one direction and a force in another direction. And let's say that these are equal forces and the dimensions here are equal as well. Okay, so there's a force and there's a force. There's the center of the shaft. And these forces are center, uh, separated from the center of the shaft by this distance d. Okay, it's the same distance here as the same distance there. So I've got two equal forces, equal distance, and the only thing different about their forces is their direction. Well, let's just see what happens when we start adding forces and moments. Remember, moment is just another word for a torque. Just to review, what's a moment? A moment is a torque. A torque is something that makes things spin. So I'm going to need a coordinate system. And as always, if I don't have a pretty good reason otherwise, I'll use that as a coordinate system. Well, let's do this. Let's sum the forces in the x direction and see what those are. I bet they're zero. Now, there are no forces in the y direction, so I don't have to do that. So minus f plus f, okay, that's in the negative direction, that's in the positive direction. That equals zero. So this system of two forces can't make a motion. They cancel each other out. Only when I start looking at moments do I get something interesting. Well, let's just figure the moments about the center there. Okay. Well, the first one is a force acting at a distance d, and it's trying to make the shaft turn counterclockwise. And that's my positive sign convention. So that's positive, f times d. And this one also wants to turn in the positive direction. It's also f times d. So this is a couple. That's the moment. Every couple has its moment. Now, I said you've already probably seen things like this. Here's some examples. Um, usually you see it in tools, but you'll see it in other places. One example is a T-handled, basically a drill, that cuts holes for golf courses. This is a, a group of them in uh, St. Andrews in Scotland, which is kind of the home of golf, maybe sort of where it got started. Many of us have opened up a wine bottle. Well, the old-fashioned corkscrews are T-handled. They look just like this. If you look at a corkscrew from the, the uh, top, that's pretty much what it looks like. So here's a corkscrew. And the other one I found is, it doesn't look exactly like this, but it acts like this. How about the wheel on a sailing ship, the big old-fashioned wheel you see in the pirate movies and things? Well, this is a wheel. This is the helmsman wheel on the U.S. Coast Guard cutter, Eagle. Now, if you happen to grab the, the two handles that are opposite each other and make a, a force in opposite directions, you've made a moment. Now, it doesn't work so well if you happen to grab, instead of two opposite each other, two adjacent to each other. Now the forces aren't zero, don't sum to zero anymore. So it only acts like this if you happen to grab the handles that are directly across from one another, going through the center. So there you have it. There are couples and there are moments. Thank you.